<laughs> while Tigbad sits on Hippo's back. <laughs> You see, Tikba didn't always sit on Hippo's back. <laughs> Look at us, hmm? two fine birds and such beautiful calm water. Oh, my favorite time of day. You'd never ever see Tikba near Hippo, if she could help it. A nice quiet morning drink. <laughs> Hippo, not again! In fact, there was a time when Tickbird and Hippo weren't friends at all. Hippo! Hippo! Hippo is not funny. It's not funny. Mm. A tick. Mm. Testy. Tick. <laughs> Get off. I have tickly skin. I don't like being stood on. <laughs> Stop splashing. It's not funny. It's not oh, funny. Get off. Get off. off. Stop splashing. I'm tickly. <laughs> Get like it, huh? Yeah. That's just... <laughs> Peace and quiet at last. Maybe now we can have a drink before Hippo starts splashing about again. <sighs> mm. and, oh. Oh. It would be nice if we could all have our breakfast in peace. Mm. Mm. So slappy. I think we're safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Enough! Let's find somewhere else to drink. Oh. <laughs> oh! A water hole that stretches as far as I can see. At last, a peaceful drink. <laughs> Salty water! Yuck! <laughs> well, what do you expect from the sea? Tortoise? This is the sea? Oh, yes. I like to come and warm my shell on the sand just as the sea is going out. Going out? Where to? Who knows? But out it goes and in it comes again. Twice every day. You see, before... The sea came all the way up to here. Oh. And now look how far away it is. <laughs> it's so clever. They call it a tide, you know. That's all very well, Tortoise. But I don't like the taste of the salty sea for my breakfast drink. Well, what's wrong with the water at the water hole? Hippo is in it. Oh, she ruffled her feathers this morning. All that splashing and splashing and the splishing. I know, I know. It's about time some beast told Hippo to stop. That's it! And I'm going to tell her. <gasps> it's high time some little beast taught that big beast a lesson. Come on! Tickbird, what are you doing? Whoa! Oh, Hippo! Oh! Hippo! Please, Hippo, stop! Hippo! <laughs> If I won't listen, you'll just get splashed again. <laughs> Hippo! Stop! Splashing and splashing every beast. It's not funny. Not funny at all. <gasps> Quite right. Well said, little bird. <laughs> splashing is not funny. Get off. I have tickly skin. I don't like being stood on. <laughs> don't let me stand on you. Hey? Uh, no, I don't. Not at all. Get off. Uh, please. <laughs> then I challenge you to a contest. <laughs> a contest? <laughs> you challenge me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you win, then you can splash all you like. <laughs> Is that it? No. If I win... I can stand on you forever. If you win, 
not a chance. What is this challenge, Tickbird? The challenge is who can drink the most water in a single gulp? <laughs> <laughs> but you'll never drink more than me. <laughs> Do you accept the challenge? Of course I accept, because I will win. No doubt about it. <laughs> you have all heard. Hippo has accepted the challenge. Mm -hmm. You, Tickbird, must choose the time and place. <laughs> We will go to the sea. And the time? Tomorrow, breakfast time. Attention all. Mm. The challenge is set. Tomorrow, breakfast time at the sea. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking, Dick Bird? If you have a plan, I would like to know. I do have a plan, but it's a secret. We won't tell anybody. What are friends for? Well, I chose the sea because of what Toy Toy said. Ah, clever tick bird. The tides. Uh -huh. The tides? The water going up and down twice a day. Huh? Sorry, still don't get ya. Big head sea, tiny brain. <laughs> don't worry, elephant. I don't understand it either. Shh. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> see you at <gasps> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a contest to see who can drink the most water in one gulp. Not much of a contest if you ask me. I didn't ask you, Hippo. Ooh. Now, you will drink first. If Tickbird wins, <laughs> ahem, Tickbird will be allowed to stand on Hippo's back forever. Hmm. But if Hippo wins, Hippo can splosh and jump as much as she likes. Is it understood? It is. It is. Hippo, it is time for you to take your drink. Ooh, the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, elephant, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Beat that, little bird. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Come on, Tick Bird. Yay, Tick Bird. Not yet. Not yet. Hippo drank the water from this line to this line. And Tickbird drank the water from this line all the way to this line. Hey! Well done, Tickbird! The difference is clear. I declare Tickbird the winner. <laughs> well done, Tickbird. Tickbird can now stand on you anytime she likes. <laughs> it's not fair. It must be a trick. Shush, Hippo. You must honor the challenge. Oh, right. yes. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know? From the day of the Great Water Challenge, every animal was happy because Hippo didn't splish and splash all day. Tickbird was happy because she had all the food she could eat. Mm. Yummy, yummy ticks! Mm. And Hippo was happy because Tickbird ate all the tickly ticks. And that's why Tickbird sits on Hippo's back. I still don't get it. Tickbird didn't really drink half the sea. It was the tide going out. But going where? Never mind, Elephant. Tickbird won, and that's all we need to know. Every animal was happy. Ah, out of my way. Oh! Mm. Except Crocodile. But that's a whole other story. <laughs>
Why crocodile has a bumpy back? Run, run, run. What was that? Now what was I saying? Mm. Oh yes! Why crocodile has a bumpy back? <laughs> You see, there was a time when crocodile skin was not all lumpy and bumpy. It was smooth and all silky. <laughs> hey, what's the hurry, Croc? I don't want to get sunburnt. Again. <sighs> In fact, Croc's skin was so delicate that he had to keep out of the sun or Croc went all pink. <laughs> <laughs> and don't call me Croc. <laughs> <laughs> and then Crocodile was even more snappy. <laughs> Crocodile, come here for a swim and cool off. <laughs> no. <laughs> come on, come on in and be cool. No, I have to stay out of the sun. <sighs> what? Huh? What's going on? <gasps> Did you hear that? It might have been my tummy. Sorry. He does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Croc. It's not funny when you burn easy in the sun. Do you remember how burnt he got last summer? Oh, it was nasty. But he went a wonderful shade of pink. <laughs> was it a baby pink like this? Or was it more of a zing zing pink like this? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. But crocodile, pink is such a beautiful color. Or did you go more of a cheeky scarlet like this? <laughs> Will you all leave me alone? Ooh. No need to get so snappy. I am just trying to keep out of the sun. <laughs> snappy, snappy, snappy. <laughs> Oh, he's so snappy today, Wild. <laughs> what is it? What on earth can it be? That definitely wasn't me that time. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Jumbo, everyone. Sounds like a summer storm approaching. <laughs> I thought it was my tummy rumbling, Tortoise. <laughs> no, your tummy rumbling is much louder than that. <laughs> <laughs> Better hold up for a bit. <sighs> what is this meeting for? Yes. Yes. Animals! Hmm? Hmm? Now, is everybody here? Yes, Your yes, Majesty. Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Majesty. Everybody except Grumpy Crocodile. Look, he's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when he turns pink. <laughs> uh, now, you may well have all been wondering what that rumbling sound was. I was getting really worried. Mm. Yes. Yes. And with good reason, Elephant. Because the wildebeest are coming. The wilde what? The wildebeest. You are too young to remember, monkey. I remember the wildebeest. Well, they are back. <laughs> and it's best not to upset them. Why? Because if you upset them, they charge. And when they charge, hoo -hoo -hoo, they all charge at once. <gasps> it's actually called a stampede. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Don't even think about it. The most important thing anywhere near a wildebeest is never, ever to say the R word. The R word? Which R word? R for rascal? R for rhino? Or R for rude? <laughs> no, R for... Run. <laughs> Nobody say another word. <gasps> the meeting is over. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. So, if someone does say... You tortoise better be ready to. I hope I don't have to. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in the way when they start to. Don't say it! You nearly said it! Elephant, you nearly said the R word! 
Yes, but I didn't actually say run, did I? Run? Run. 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 No, you said it. No! Run! 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 Run, daughters, run! Let's try it! Here we go! Run! 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 Sorry, Lion, it was me. No time for sorries. Nothing will stop them now. It is nature's work. Run. Calm. Stay calm. Are we all here, monkeys? Check. Tortoise. Amazingly, yes, I am. I am here, Your Majesty. Crocodile! Crocodile! Crocodile is not here! He can't still be sleeping. He's there! He's underneath the tree! I can see him! Oh, no! Huh? Elephant! Trumpet now! Wake Crocodile up! <laughs> run, Crocodile, run! Run, run, run! run. run. Crocodile! Run. Wake up! What? Behind you! Behind you! Behind you! Huh? Run! 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 I can't watch! Oh no! Run! 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 <laughs> that still works. And my tail... That's okay. Now... <laughs> All in good snapping order. Hey, that was lucky. Well, not that lucky, I suppose. Not that lucky to be trampled on by a herd of dopey wildebeest. I mean, not that lucky at all. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm glad it wasn't me who said run. No, sorry, it was me. Big head, see? Tiny brain. It is not your fault, elephant. Will they be stampede? That is what they do. <laughs> it's nature's way. Now, what's happened to Crocodile? Huh? <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to say it. Poor, poor crocodile. <laughs> oh. I know he was snappy, but I'm going to miss him. We will all miss him. Whose tail are we going to pull now? Poor croc. Huh? Don't call me croc. Crocodile. Crocodile? Yes. Crocodile. 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 <laughs> 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 What's happened to your back? And your pink skin is turned all bumpy. Well, in case you didn't notice, a whole herd of dopey wildebeest just trampled over my back. Ah, oh, still snappy, though. <laughs> you look like a wooden lug. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. I'm all bumpy. I'm bumpy, I tell you. <laughs> well, at least with your new bumpy skin, you can go out in the sun and not get burnt. Hmm, true. But look at me. I'm all bumpy. Bumpy! And that's why Crocodile has a bumpy back. <laughs> I look like a wooden log. <laughs> Amazing. Quite difficult to tell the difference, actually. <laughs> he does. Crocodile looks like a wooden log. <laughs> well, you'd better just watch out, then. So if you see a log by the river, better not get too close. It might be crocodile. <gasps> and then you have to <laughs> run. Run, 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 run. And the dog bewilder beast? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs>
Why, Baboon has a bare bottom. <laughs> hey, that's my banana. <laughs> Come back here. Come back here. You see, there was a time when Naughty Baboon didn't have a bare bottom. His bottom was all hairy, just like any other monkey. I'm not a monkey, I'm a baboon. Okay, baboon, but you're still naughty. You took my banana. No, I didn't. Your precious banana is over there. Over where? Where? Over there. Huh? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, banana! Back. Baboon was a very, very naughty monkey. I'm not a monkey. I'm a baboon. <laughs> well, we are telling lions. Yes, let's tell lions. Yes. Oh, come on. Jumbo elephant, what are you doing? Oh, oh Jumbo baboon, <laughs> I'm trying to get at that fat, juicy mango up there. Only I can't quite reach it. Oh, well, let me help you. <laughs> That's very nice of you. What a kind monkey you are. I'm not a monkey, I'm a baboon. Sorry, big head, see, tiny brain. <laughs> Oh, it is very high up, that mango. It's going to be very cheeky, elephant. Oh, do you think you can get it? Yes, if you want me to get that mango, elephant, I'll need some quiet, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sh quiet, must be quiet. Shh, quiet. Who is that? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Front myself then, quiet. What are you doing, elephant? Shh, baboon's thinking. Baboon? Yes. He's up the tree thinking of a way to get me a juicy mango that I spotted. <laughs> Elephant, huh? this is Baboon we're talking about, right? Hmm? Baboon, we know you're up there. Give Elephant his mango. Huh? What mango? <laughs> hmm. Oh, Baboon ate my mango. He's a very naughty monkey. Actually, Elephant, he's not a monkey, he's a baboon. Well, whatever he is, he's very naughty. Come on, let's go and tell Lion. Looking forward to that mango. <laughs> I took those bananas from right under those monkey's noses. <laughs> and then Elephant, I ate all his mango too. <laughs> I heard everything you just said. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're <sighs> a very... Don't say it. Very naughty monkey. I am not a monkey, I'm a baboon. Well, I'm going to tell Lion right now. Wait, wait, you're going the wrong way. Oh. I just saw Lion and he's that way. Oh. Or maybe it was that way. Right. My mistake. Sorry, okay. that way. Hey. No, 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 this way. Oh. No, 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 that way. Oh. No, the other way. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lion, and he's coming this way. Nyani, baboon. Uh oh, I'm in big trouble. Aha! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aha! Help! Help! The rocks are about to fall, and I'm not strong enough to hold them up. We shall both be crushed. Huh? Please, Lion, use your mighty strength to hold up the rock while I go and look for something uh, to hold it up. Huh? Not to worry. Be quick, Baboon. Find something to hold this up. <laughs> I don't want any animal to come to harm and no monkeying about. I don't monkey about because I'm a baboon. Haraka, <laughs> quickly! <laughs> now, where is Baboon? How long can it take? Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Your, Your Majesty. Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Lion! Your Majesty? We've been looking everywhere for you. Step back, all of you! Oh. It's not safe to come any closer! Hey. What's Lion doing? I'm holding up these rocks, Elephant, so they don't fall down and crush us all. Won't be long, though. Baboon has gone to find something to hold them up. Baboon? Yes, Baboon. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Your Majesty, 
That is what we've come to talk to you about. Baboon and his tricks. Huh? He's playing tricks on everyone. Huh? And your majesty. Huh? I mean everyone. <clears throat> you mean me too? I'm afraid so, your majesty. Something has got to be done about Baboon! One trick deserves another, Your Majesty. <laughs> I want to hear this. Tortoise? Ostrich, would you kindly give us one of your enormous eggs? With pleasure. Now, as we know, Baboon is greedy and naughty, so he will never be able to resist something as big and delicious as... <laughs> That's <laughs> Thank you, Astrid. That's a clever tortoise. <laughs> and then? Snake here will pretend to have stolen Ostrich's egg. That won't be hard. And Ostrich will pretend to be really upset. That won't be hard either. Meerkat, you will be the lookout. Always on the lookout. Always on the lookout. <laughs> and, and? Then we will put the egg at the very top of Mount Tinga Tinga. And Baboon. Ooh, how are we going to teach Baboon a lesson? Gather around and I'll tell you. <laughs> That's brilliant. Right, no Baboon about. Step one, tie snake to tree. Check. Step two, unwind snake and egg to edge of mountain. Ooh, that steep. Snake. Step three, alert the others. We're hiding, we're gonna hide. hide. Over to you, Ostrich. <laughs> oh, my egg, my egg. Snake has stolen my best egg. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> oh. oh, Ostrich. Did I hear you say your best egg has been stolen? Snake took my biggest and my best egg up to the very top of the mountain. Look! Mm. Oh, ho, ho, how terrible. Let me get that big egg back for you, Ostrich. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Baboon. It's my pleasure. <laughs> oh, oh, baboon's on his way up. See you at the bottom. Over to you, Snake. OK. Oh, Baboon. I'm having trouble holding on to this egg. Let me help. It's just that with no hands and no legs, it's a bit slippery, you see. Oh, dear. And it would be such a pity to drop such a big, delicious egg. Let me hold it for you. Why, thank you very much. What a kind monkey you are. Oh, I'm not a monkey. I'm a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baboon. <gasps> Don't just stand there. Someone put my bottom out. <laughs> baboon, no more tricks? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, no, no, no. No more tricks. Give Ostrich her egg back. Here it is, Ostrich. Ooh, ooh, Elephant! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Look at that. My bottom is all bare. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. There is not a hair on my bottom at all. <laughs> and that is why Baboon has a bare bottom. <laughs> That will teach you to stop monkeying about. <laughs> oh, I'm not a monkey. I'm a baboon. <laughs> well, there'll be no mistake in you from now on. <laughs> the badly behaved baboon with the bare bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and from that day on, no animal ever mistook baboon for a monkey again. <laughs> I'm not a monkey. I'm a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? Did the trick work? Oh, yes, Snake, it did. Baboon totally fell for it. <laughs> Ooh, good. Now, can someone untie me from this tree? I will. Thanks, Monkey. And Snake and his no legs. Well, 
that's a whole other story. <laughs> Why guinea fowl has dots? Always ask questions, monkey. Always ask questions. <laughs> How, what, when, where, why? Always ask questions. You see, there was a time when guinea fowl didn't have dots. Oh. Hey, why are you following me, monkey? I'm just telling the story of why you have dots. Why I have dots? Now that is a good story. It's full of adventure and bravery and a desire to explore. <laughs> so here we go. Why guinea fowl? has dots. That hippo dive to the bottom and crabs, you all sit one on top of the other until you reach the top. <laughs> you heard, guinea fowl. Um, one on top um, of the other. One on top of the other. What is guinea fowl doing? Hmm. Trying to answer another one of her questions. Why? <laughs> That's good, elephant. Always asking questions. But in this case, the question is how? How deep is the water hole? Aha! That's it, everybody. Now, how many of you are there? One hippo and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, <laughs> sixteen. Sixteen crabs. <laughs> well, that's it, then. That's what? That's how deep the water hole is. Huh? It's one hippo and sixteen crabs deep. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> Next! Why is it elephant is so much stronger than tortoise? <laughs> Come on, tortoise, you can do it. Try it! Oh, this is just getting silly. Try again, tortoise. We must find out why. <sighs> no, no, no. That's quite enough. Thank you. Why don't you find out why trees are so tall? Did that yesterday? Why the sun is so hot? Did that last week? <gasps> Aha! So tell me, why does the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shine? Why does it? Mm. Now that is a good question. Why does the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shine? No animal has ever found out the answer. Then I shall be the first. The first animal to find out why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. <laughs> Be careful, guinea fowl. It's a very long way away. Oh, I will. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, guinea fowl. Be careful. <laughs> oh, how exciting. What an adventure. Why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. Oh. <laughs> Very hot. Ooh. Ah, camel. Oh. 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 Hello, bird. The name's guinea fowl, actually. Ooh. And I was wondering, camel, if you could give me a ride. Mm. Oh. This sand is dreadfully hot. Ah, yes. Climb on. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Ready? Yes. You're a long way from home. I'm going to be the first animal who finds out why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. That is brave. It's very far away. Well, I'm a brave bird, and I have to know why. <laughs> that is as far as I go. The end of the desert. Thank you, Camel. Asante. <laughs> Good luck, guinea fowl. Be careful! Oh, I will! <laughs> Very brave. Oh dear, oh. Oh, no, this can't be right. This is the ocean. I must have taken a wrong turn. What, what in Tinga Tinga is that? Jumbo Stranger. I am Will. You must be a very long way from home. Are you lost? Well, I am a little lost, actually. I'm trying to get to the top of Mount Tinga Tinga. Oh, that is brave. I'm going to be the first animal who finds out why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. Oh. 
but I can't seem to see it anymore. It's behind that forest. You can't see it because it's covered in cloud. Oh, thank you, Whale. Very kind of you. You're welcome. <laughs> Be careful. It's a long way. Well, I will. Oh, and what's that big whoosh thing you do? It's very clever. Oh, this? That's my spout. It's very good. Now, goodbye. <laughs> Ah, back on track. Now, to the top of the mountain. That's it. Onward and upward. <laughs> Imagine, the first animal to find out why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. How marvellous. <sighs> it's getting a bit chilly. <sighs> My, how beautiful. The whitest carpet of, of... I don't know what it is. It's cold and it's wet and it's soft. But what can it be? Oh, this is why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. <laughs> because of all this beautiful white. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Well, I made it! <laughs> I'm on the top of the mountain and I know why it shines. Well, oh, never mind. Ooh. Now, what in Tinga Tinga can it be? That's what it is. Beautiful specks of falling snow. Oh, I can't wait to tell everyone. <laughs> Happy <Whee! laughs> Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Lion, it's been a very long time since we saw guinea fowl. We'll go and look for her. Can we? Please. Quiet, monkeys. This is serious. Okay. Lion, I will fly to the top of the mountain to find guinea fowl. She is one of my birds. Very true, eagle. Now, enda salama. Go safely. Are you getting fell? Yoo-hoo! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Snow! There you are! Oh, Eagle! We were worried! Come on! Eagle, I know why the top of Tinga Tinga shines. <laughs> and when I got to the very top, the mountain was covered in this beautiful glistening white. 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 That is why the top of Mount Tinga Tinga shines. This beautiful white. <gasps> What's it called? Snow. <gasps> snow? You saw snow? Yes, yes. The top of the mountain was covered in snow. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of it, but I have never met any animal who has ever actually seen snow. <laughs> well... I'm the first animal in Tinga Tinga to have seen snow. What's, What's it like? like? What's it like? Well, it falls from the sky and looks just like my new dots. Well, it's ever so pretty. Maybe your dots are made of snow. How wonderful. My dots are made from falling snow. And that's why guinea fowl has dots. What else did you see? What else? At the ocean. I met this wonderfully big animal called Whale, and she spouts like this. Whoosh! Why? Oh, no. I completely forgot to ask her. <laughs> no, I must find out why Whale spouts. 
<laughs> and well and her spout? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Chesa, Chesa, come on, dance. Imba, Imba, come on, sing. Shuka, Shuka, shake it down. Ruka, Ruka, jump around. Woo! 